remember they had the t big $25 billion deal where the bank said, okay, yeah, we did those uh, robo foreclosures, which are clearly and wildly illegal, but that's right, let's do a settlement. I mean, if a banker's gonna go to jail because they did something illegal? I don't think so. Welcome to America, right? So they are right, 25 billion, it's, it's a historic settlement, it's a historic settlement. Classic Obama claim, everything he does is uh, historic, so everything should be fine now. Of course, we found out later, of that 25 billion, about 20% actually comes from the banks. Guess where the rest comes from? It's us paying ourselves. Maddening, right? Now, it turns out there's a second problem with that settlement. They said, not only are we going to get the 25 billion dollars, but we are setting up the toughest commission there is. The Residential Mortgage Backed Securities Working Group. It's going to have people like the New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, and he's been so tough on the banks. And by the way, he had been. At that point, I was a fan of Schneiderman, and he was going to get the banks, and then they, he was like, ah, I don't know if I want to be part of this settlement. It doesn't seem right. They said, are you kidding me? We're going to put you as the head of the working group. Oh, that's okay. We got a strong commission. Okay, now you want to know what happened? That the settlement and the commission was supposed to be set up over a year ago. As David Dayen reports at Salon, there never was a residential mortgage-backed securities working group, never a so-called task force dedicated to ferreting, ferreting out Wall Street fraud. They never put it into place. Into the wind. I mean, what an unbelievable lie. They didn't have any offices, any telephones, any workers, anytime anybody else did anything in the government, which was not that frequent, this group would say, yeah, to, uh, to us too, totally agreed, press release. Just one giant press release. What a scam. <laughs> and you think Obama wants to hold the banks accountable? Obama's been tough on the banks? <laughs> Schneider's been task force was merely, David explains, a politically motivated shell organization grafted onto that public relations strategy. So this is just one big PR trick. Again, David Dayen explains, there are no offices, no phones, and no staff dedicated to the non-task force. Now, uh, Schneiderman did do one thing, he went after um, a, a group here right before the election, it was J.P. Morgan Chase over there, Bear Stearns fraudulent misrepresentations back in uh, 2008. Okay, so that got a lot of news. Guess when that was? One month before the election. Like, oh, we're doing something, oh yeah, totally, progressives, liberals, Democrats, vote for us, yes! And that, that wasn't even the task force, that was his own office in New York. And then the task force sends out a press release. Oh, wow, okay, thank you for being such a tough-hitting task force. Now this quote amuses me, it's from Robert Kuzami, he's the former head of enforcement, laugh along with me, at the SEC, Securities Exchange Commission. He said, quote, we hired a coordinator, but most of the investigative work being done here is not really being done by a staff that belongs to the task force, it's being done by individual investigative groups that make up the task force. Okay, so if, in case you didn't believe David Dayen, there's Robert Kuzami totally Verifying it. Say, wait, 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 we don't have a task force per se, but there's different groups like the New York Attorney General, etc., that are kind of part of the task force. And if they happen to do something, well, then the task force takes credit for it. That was the historic commission that was supposed to get tough on the banks and regulate them. Now, do you understand what kind of a joke President Obama is? Fortunately, the joke's on us. Oh, change! Oh my God, all these bankers! Oh, they're so afraid of Obama because he's so tough on them. And then they all go behind the scenes and go, <laughs> that was a good one. Task force, task force. Ain't nobody got no task, ain't nobody got time for a task force. Joke's on us, man, as usual. <laughs> bankers, shockingly enough, will not be held accountable at all because nobody's even bothering to investigate them.